haircut. Poor prawn, thank you very much. The vast majority of what we do in sport and life requires the core and the spine to be stable and rigid. That allows effective transfer of force from the legs to the arms or vice versa. So going back to yesterday's video, that makes the core an anti-motion device. Its job is to resist forces. So imagine this sushi roll is your abdomen. The prawn in the middle, that's your spine. The rice, that's the deep layer of core muscles. And then the nori roll on the outside, that's the superficial muscles. Think of your six pack, your rectus abdominis, and your spinal erectus. Now here's the trick. Most people think the thing that makes sushi sushi is the seaweed, but it's not, it's the rice. Without the rice, You just have a seaweed and prawn salad. And so it's exactly the same with the core. People see a six pack and they assume that's the key to a strong, stable core and healthy spine. But it's not. A strong core starts in the rice. See, when it comes to creating stability in the core and the spine, the brain works by recruiting the deepest layers first, your TVA, multifidus, and pelvic floor, to lock down the organs, stabilize the spine, and only then, once everything's set and in place, can it start thinking about transferring force through the more superficial muscles. But what happens is when you train the core inappropriately with movement creation exercises like sit-ups, crunches, and Russian twists, it's effectively like you're trying to make the sushi backwards, starting with a nori roll, wrapping it up, and then trying to stuff the rice, the prawn, the avocado, and the good bits inside after you've already made the tube. And this changes the recruitment order. So instead of the core working from the inside out, we put like a software bug in by training the core to work outside in. That means when the forces or the external load hits that body, the spine isn't fully set and locked down. So it's gonna be compromised. <laughs> 